I went to Target for two things and I left spending $50. I would say that was unexpected, but honestly, I, I was in the mood to like, you know, shop around and browse around, look at a couple things. So first off, I needed tampons because I started my period this morning. I hate starting my period on Mondays because I feel like Monday is like my most productive day to like start the week, but Mother Nature had different plans for me today. We're having a chill day, which honestly I kind of needed, definitely needed. Then I also got this non-dairy almond milk, oat milk, pumpkin spice latte creamer. I really wanna try this in my matcha. I've been seeing a lot of people make pumpkin matchas recently and it's fall, baby, it's time. It's the time to do it. So I'm gonna make one this morning. And then I felt like getting a couple cozies since I was in the cozy mood. You guys know I love wearing my little boxies to bed. So I got these cute little plaid ones. Can I wear these out? Can I wear these with like an outfit? Cause I really think these would be cute with like a pair of Ugg boots and like walking around the town. I don't know. I might get some weird stares, but these are so cute. So I also had to get these pants. This is from the Stars Above brand. Look how cute these are. Like tell me these aren't skims. You can't, you can't tell me these aren't skims. They feel so, so comfy. These are only like 20 bucks. And I'm gonna try these out and see if I wanna get them in like a bunch of different colors. But I have a lot of loungy shorts like this, but I don't really have lounge pants. So I thought I would get some neutrals in the fall spirit. All right, I need a matcha, desperately, right now. Two minutes ago, actually. little matcha bowl that I got from David's Tea. It's so cute. I think that's good. I just have a little bit of oat milk and some ice and I think I'm going to just do a little bit of creamer. I feel like I always overdo it with the creamer sometimes and then it's like way too sweet. How do I open this? Okay. Ooh, I love this bottle. It's fancy. No wonder it was expensive. Okay, I'm scared. It does not smell like pumpkin at all. What the heck? Don't start. <laughs> this washer and dryer are gonna be the death of me. <laughs> the best part is when they're both going off at the same time and it's like You have 24 minutes, so go. Okay. okay. Okay, should we do a little pumpkin pie spice on it? Just a little bit. Ooh, oh my gosh, look how stunning that is. I am using a cup that I got from a coffee shop the other day because recycling, right? <laughs> kind of. <gasps> oh, oh. Starbucks, giving you a run for your money. Actually, this is this literally is a Starbucks creamer, so <laughs> thank you, Starbucks. Excuse me, how stunning she is. I can't even describe to you. It's fall, but not too much. Like it's pumpkin and it's, it's pumpkin spicy, but it's not too pumpkin spicy. It's just the perfect amount, but you still got the matcha. It just tastes like Wow. I need to like sell that. That's amazing. <laughs> so you like that non-dairy? This is so good. This creamer, target everyone. Mom. I would drink that. Right? Isn't that amazing? That is so good. I could drink that every single day. That's my new, my new fall matcha drink at home. Yay. So Last night I got this video idea at like 10 p.m. to do like 25 fall outfits. Just like a chill, fun edited video that just gives outfit inspiration. So I packed up all of this stuff, put a bunch of outfits together, which I was really surprised by how fast I was able to do that because when I get dressed every day, it takes me an hour to put one outfit together. But last night I was just like picking random things, 
I don't know, I was just feeling creative. So it's fun like blocking out days like this where I can just have fun with editing and filming and I don't really know what this video is going to look like, but we're just going to wing it. I made a complete mess after that video, so it has been fun cleaning it up, but look how like nice and neat I have everything. I don't even want to think of putting all this back in my closet. <laughs> I already procrastinate putting my laundry away. This is gonna be, this is literally, I brought my whole closet here, so that should be fun. My period hit me so hard last night. I slept nine and a half hours, but I'm feeling so much better today, so I know that I definitely, definitely needed that. I was just doing my skincare, and I wanted to tell you guys that I switched back to the You To The People Superfood Cleanser. This is my all-time favorite cleanser. I was using the Osea one, which I also like, but this one just works better for me, and I feel like I get an even deeper cleanse on my skin. And I feel like whatever was going on with my breakouts, I feel like you guys are a little dirty. Let me clean you. This just cleared it up, so go skin. Love that. I also just bought a new product from Rode. I didn't get any skincare because I'm like, girly, you do not need to be switching up skincare just when your skin is looking good. Like, make it make sense. But I bought her little lip product. Okay, girly, what's going on here? Jeez. <laughs> All of that for this little lippy product. It's a peptide lip treatment. I heard that this is like the best lip product ever so i'll be the judge of that we'll see i'm very picky with my lippies Ooh, this is the unscented one so i don't know why i went to go smell it but ooh, the most luscious lips ever what did that, that just do to my lips that gave it like the most perfect color but it's literally there's no color to it how did that happen? I should have bought five of these. I need this in every single bag that I own. I get it, Miss Bieber. I understand. I, yeah. Oh, I mean not. Putting my farm park. Joelle told me about this coffee shop the other day and I went to it but I just got like my regular matcha order, but she said that their strawberry matcha is delicious. So that's what I'm trying to say. And like everyone was ordering it, so it must be a fan fave. I am a little bit nervy because it does look like it's chunky matcha, which we know we don't like. Okay. Ooh. Whoa, wowza. Okay, I'm usually not a fan of like chunks in my strawberry matcha. Like I don't I don't want seeds and stuff in it. But this is delicious. I don't even mind it. Mmm. That's the place to go to. It's also on a college campus. So there are a lot of people my age, which you would think I would like. But I lived in Pasadena for a year. And in Pasadena, there were no people. Like, in our apartment complex, there was nobody our age. When I went grocery shopping, it was all, like, moms with their kids in strollers or 56-year-olds. And when I would visit my friends at their apartments and I saw another, like, 23-year-old at the time, I didn't know how to act. Like, I felt awkward. Now I've kind of brought it with me a little bit. I get nervous for some reason. If you guys, if you watched one of my last vlogs where I could not stop eating my peanut butter and date little concoction, June, look at look at June, look at mom. <laughs> this is okay. <laughs> the camera, dog. They just made up for all the dates I dropped on the floor in my last vlog. What is this? Wow, stunning. I got this package, which I actually already opened up over here, June. This one is from Milk Makeup. Guys, this is everything I needed for fall. I wanted to get some like deeper blushes and they sent me one of their blushes in Quirk. It's like a pretty berry color. Ooh, 
brow gel, eye primer, face primer, a big thing of their setting mist, which is my absolute favorite. We're gonna try all this stuff out tomorrow, maybe? I don't know. What's on the agenda? Ole Henriksen? Look up all these packages. Today was just mail day. Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. How did they know I needed a new moisturizer? Right after I just told you guys, let's not switch up my skincare. If it's working, then like, why am I gonna add new things? I'm trying this, I didn't last very long. Last package, I got batteries for my film camera, which is actually my grandpa's film camera that I found the other day and the battery was dead, so bought a new one so we can try it out. Let's go see if it turns on. Well, she works. I'm gonna have to put some film in it and then and test it out. Does the flash work? Yup, there you go. This is the Canon EOS 700. I'm so excited about this. I have this film camera and then I also have this one. This is the Teletouch 300. I think I have film in here actually, but I love this film camera. It's a really good one and I haven't taken any film pictures in a very, very long time. I mean, since like the beginning of the year. My friend had a disposable camera the other day, Sky, and she just got them developed and they looked so good so it inspired me to take the film back out. Have some fun taking pics. I didn't really do that this summer and I am kind of regretting it so I thought new season, fall is here. Oh. Let's start again. It's kind of a different consistency. It's in between like a gel moisture moisturizer and like a thicker moisturizer. Ooh, that feels so good. And the Milk Sunshine Sunshine Skin Tint. Should we use a skin tint to go to dinner? Ooh, ooh, I don't know if this is a great time to be trying a skin tint. I guess we're just, we're feeling experimental today. Is it dark or does it, is it dark or is it a perfect match? I like can't, can't tell. Orange, that's what it is, okay. That's dark too. What the frick am I trying to do to myself right now? Jimmy always has to be in the middle of everything. Hello, hi darling, what are you doing? Sweetheart, what's going on? Hi guys, Please don't mind her. She's just a spotlight hog, hello. Do you know who the fuck you're talking to? That's what that made me remind me of. I don't think so. Bitch, I'm Doja Cat. I go way back. Okay, that made my skin look absolutely amazing. Like, did it not? For a skin tint, that just like blurred everything on my skin. If I look crazy tonight, you guys know why. It's for this reason. I can't tell if foundation matches me or not. I don't know. Maybe we'll fix it right now. Or maybe we'll mess it up. Who knows? My brain has kind of been all over the place because I just finished editing my fall outfits video, which took me literally three days to edit. I think it was my most complicated video I have done <laughs> to date just because I had so much footage and it was it was a lot. My brain is tired. So we're gonna have I'm gonna see my girls tonight. We're gonna have a fun night. Get out of the house, kind of unplug a little bit, clock out. Although I'm not really clocking out, I'm clocking out from my laptop. I need to take a break from her. <laughs> her and I have had too much time together the past couple of days and I'm tired. Let's go. I'm trying the baked halibut roll per Caitlin's recommendation. Now I'm nervous. Wow. Isn't it good? Wow, that's insane. Orange. Is it still it's warm? Like melts in your mouth. Wow. Is it warm? Mm hmm. <laughs> You're like, did they make it right? <laughs> little avocado? Don't mind if I do avocado. To get what? Get an air purifier. Dude, I know, we have these freaking tubes of air purifiers everywhere. That's too loud. Our whole house is gonna be like, mm. It's all high. What's wrong with our air? It's pure. Oh, yeah. 
fucking cat hair and dog hair everywhere, dude. What's wrong with that? I can't breathe. I could be perfectly fine with me. It's not my nose. I have a sweet tooth. What do I want? <laughs> That's my <me>, brother. <laughs> That's my brother. Do I even want this? Why did I smell it? I bought this the other day. I actually um, got it on GoPuff, which I, I never ordered from before, but I was craving ice cream the other day. Actually, it was the day before I started my period, so <laughs> makes sense. But Dairy Free Tonight Show, Ben and Jerry's. Um, I don't journal often. I really just do it when I feel like there's something I need to write about and my I told you guys yesterday my brain has been all over the place. This week flew by so fast. It's already Friday. It probably flew by for you guys too because I barely vlogged but today I am dedicating to getting my life together. I know I say that a lot but I mean it in a sense of I need to do laundry. I need to clean up my car. I need to go to the grocery store. So doing those things that's kind of resetting in a way not saying my life is falling apart right now but it feels a little all over the place every day i keep seeing things like my laundry like my car that i need to clean out and i'm like i need to do that but i haven't set aside the time to do it so that's what we're gonna do today especially since tomorrow's october 1st so it's like the perfect time to do it it's the beginning of a new month and we're gonna set it up right october was a really tough month for me last year i think that's a part of the reason why I wasn't totally excited for fall because fall was a it was a toughy season I was going through a lot last year I don't even remember a lot of it because I feel like I was just really s sad and filled with anxiety and I feel like I associated that with those months with fall time with the holidays coming around and this year i've just been a little bit like nervous for that I, i'm in a totally different place i know it's going to be completely completely different but it's tough to not feel a little bit nervous um but i'm actually really excited for it i'm excited to be here with my family for the holidays do fun stuff with my friends go to pumpkin patches and Halloween's coming up and then Thanksgiving and all, all the holidays coming up. It's going to be such a great time and I don't want to let last year and those feelings I was feeling in the place I was in dictate how I'm feeling about this year because it's something totally different. But yeah, that's just something I've been struggling with a little bit recently. I guess I also kind of wanted a journal to kind of set my intentions for the month and really go into October excited and with just a good mindset on it. If you guys have kind of been feeling the same, I recommend. Let's do it together. The tan looks gradual self tan lotion. Yeah. So good. Good? Oh good. Okay. Oh, these are Yankee candles. <gasps> That's why they smell so good. We have a spiced pumpkin and sparkling cinnamon. These are good. Ooh, they're expensive though. Am I ready for a cinnamon candle? Like, cinnamon reminds me too much of Christmas. And I don't know if I'm there yet. I'm just tipping my... I'm just dipping my foot. Whoa. <laughs> I can't speak. I'm just tipping... I'm just dipping my toes into fall, so I don't think I'm ready for Christmas just yet. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. Okay. I'm so sweaty right now. Yesterday, actually before dinner, Caitlin and I recorded a podcast episode together. This is my second podcast that I've ever been on and I it was an honor to be on Caitlin's because I love her so much. It's called Not Your Typical with Caitlin Nolan. Ah, it's so good. Basically, we just talked about 
post breakup glow up, finding more self love and dealing with change. <laughs> this is a pretty long episode, but it just flowed so nicely. It really just felt like an episode chatting with friends, talking about post breakup stuff, talking about how to focus on yourself, how to be in your me era. And we kind of just talked about so many different things. Caitlin is someone that we can talk about anything forever and we have such great conversations. So I was so excited to record an episode with her and kind of share things that we talk about with other people because there's so many times where we're talking and we're like, honestly, we should be recording this because I think that other people could benefit from what we're talking about or it's just like a fun conversation. So I'm so excited that we finally recorded something and I will leave it linked down below if you guys want to hear it. But that's what I was listening to during my workout and People in there probably thought I was crazy because I was like laughing. <laughs> I was laughing during the podcast because I just loved it so much. So let me know if you guys listened to it. Other than that, I had a really good workout. I did legs today. That was the first like actual workout that I did this week because I am on my period. So I gave myself like a really long rest. I needed it so badly because I was also sleeping so much. I slept like nine and a half hours every single night and I feel so much better now. I always let myself sleep in during the week of my period. I like don't even set an alarm or anything because I need that extra sleep. And since I gave myself that rest, today's workout was so, so nice because I was nice and recharged. So I'm feeling good, I'm feeling a lot better. That sigh just describes the day that I had. I got so much done. I cleaned my car, I did laundry, I put all the clothes away, I cleaned my room. I just like, I feel so much better now. Things were just starting to pile up and it was, it was getting to my head a little bit. I also had dinner tonight with an old friend, a friend from high school actually, and we got ramen and we got salt and straw after. Guys, I tried the pumpkin bread ice cream from salt and straw. Oh my god, it was like pumpkin ice cream with bits of, it was chunks of pumpkin bread in it. I cannot recommend enough. That was the perfect way to end my night, to end my September, honestly. I cannot believe that it's already October, wow. Um, but I'm getting in the fall spirit. You guys see that candle? Spice pumpkin candle? That's honestly the only fall vibe that I have in here. I feel like my room is like already neutral, so it's already like fall energy. But um, that's all I got as of right now. I'm feeling obviously so much better than I was earlier. And I really think journaling helped. And then setting my intentions for the day and for the month. And getting so much done. I feel like a lot is off of my chest and my shoulders now. Technically it's already October 1st because it's like after midnight. I need to hit the hay. But I'm proud of myself today. Hello. Okay, we're gonna 
turn this video and to watch it. There's this house that Bodhi always stops by because they have kittens here, like a bunch of different stray kittens. I don't know if they're strays, but they hang out around here. So every time he stops to see if he can see one, he can not care less about other dogs that walk by us, but he sees a cat and he is ears perked up. Come on, let's go. He refuses to leave until he sees a freaking cat here. Come on, let's go home. We have kitties at home. <laughs> up last night to meet. That's all the footage I have for this vlog. I wanted to film more yesterday and more today, but this weekend I've just been like, Junie, come on. She knows what I'm filming and she wants to be the center of attention. I just felt like I needed to put the camera down and be really present this weekend because um, I was feeling a little overwhelmed this week and I wanted to Get my head on straight for like I said the month, but also just like the new week. Hi June, she needs loves today. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and you liked this vlog. If you're watching this on Sunday, I hope that you have a great week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>